Hello, I'm Thomas Mushmeyer talking to you from Sydney, Australia, during our current statewide hard COVID lockdown. My technology for the Falling Walls Awards is the upcycling of biomass and end-of-life plastic waste. This catalytic hydrothermal reactor process was developed in Australia by La Cella Holdings, a company I co-founded. Through our joint ventures, Mura Technology and Arbios, it is being rolled out globally with partners Canfor, Dow, KBR, Mitsubishi Chemicals and Shell. I'm a professor in the School of Chemistry at the University of Sydney and my speciality is catalysis, making chemical reactions go faster. Reasonably pure waste streams have a chance of being recycled mechanically, but they only represent 10% of waste or less. In the chemical upcycling of mixed waste, consideration of energy inputs, yield and stability represent nearly insurmountable barriers. Consequently, most of the wastes are burned or end up in landfills, or in the environment. Yet neither landfill nor combustion represent the highest and best use. Instead, the waste should be reintroduced into the circular economy. Pyrolysis is a technology approach that has been tried for many decades. This involves heating the waste until it decomposes into gases, liquids and solids. The underlying chemistry is that of radical thermal cracking. However, the instability and relatively low yield of liquid products, as well as the toxic waste slag generated, are problematic and commercially very challenging. With my catalytic hydrothermal reactor technology, we are able to use water as the agent of change. It is involved in mass transfer, heat transfer and also as reactant. Due to the special supercritical water reaction conditions and the manner in which we introduce the waste and the water into the reactor, it is possible to activate the hydrogen in the water such that it can transfer into the product. We can follow this by reactor tracer studies involving deuterium. Our reaction is more controlled and our products are much more stable. Indeed, on a carbon basis from mixed plastic waste, we get around 15% gaseous yield, a spectacular 82% liquid yield and just a very small amount of solids. The gas is used on site to run the process on the waste itself. Overall, these characteristics offer a highly valuable commercial solution to the problem of mixed end-of-life plastic. Our approach is now being rolled out globally and is expected to process 1 million tonnes by 2025. Plastic waste that would otherwise go to landfill, be burned or pollute the environment. Rapid deployment of additional capacity is expected to follow. Excitingly, this is not the end of the road and process improvements will be made throughout the coming years and decades. As our technology is a first of a kind, it needs the creativity of the coming generations of scientists and engineers to reach its full potential. I look forward to the future.